going on guys? Welcome back to RC Every Day. So, after we beat the creek with the C2X, um, I don't know, that creek had body with that little short bed just hadn't been doing it for me. So, I've had this flatbed kicking around. Someone sent that to me a while back. I'm sorry, I don't remember who, but that thing is awesome. And I've been dying to build something with it and I just, I've got my studio here, temporary studio set up a lot better yesterday. And I started tinkering with stuff. I mean, we got all kinds of stuff going on. We got rat rods, we got touring cars, we got C2X. So I'm not going to use this cab. I've ordered a new just front cab and we'll transfer everything over from the C2X. I'm going to reuse the interior. I'm going to reuse the hood scoop, the grill, the lights, the whole nine yards. But we're going to paint up and patina a nice new cab for it. But I wanted this thing. I've really been wanting something more serious, a serious rock crawler. And that truck just I mean, with the little bed we made and stuff, it was cool, but it just doesn't look serious enough. So this flatbed is pretty wicked. It's the CC hand. It's got the mud flaps. I don't know if those will stay or not. We'll see how long it takes them to get ripped off or folded under. But I want to keep the wheelbase the same. And a couple things are going to have to happen for that. So one issue I've had with the C2X, um, I, mounted, I made this front bumper a long time ago. And I mounted these uh, ARB lights from RC 4 Drive. And they just, the body pushed right up against it. So, with this bed on here, where it meets at the back of the cab, it the cab needed to move back about a quarter inch. So I think that's what we're going to do. And, you know, the C2X has fully chopped out fenders, so we're going to do some variant of that. I would ideally like to keep some of the flare, if I can at all. But moving it back, we won't have to take as extreme a cut like the C2X had all the way to the door, and it goes all the way to the headlight corner. So I'm going to try to keep a little bit of the flare just, just to define the fender a little bit better and then that flatbed I mean it's open range back there wherever you want your tire to be with this big a tire that's not that far off from looking centered so mounting it to the chassis doesn't look like it's going to be an issue I got holes lining up everywhere it looks like a very happy accident the only issue I'm having is these bars here are they need to be where the slider is so I haven't decided yet I don't think I can chop the slider um, those are my nice solid tube sliders and the mount is back here, so I can't really chop that off and just have it mounted in one position. So I think we're just going to have to lose this bottom bar off of the bed to get it to set down a little bit more. Right now the cab is setting up real high. This cab doesn't have the front cut off or anything. I'm just using this as the only spare uh, two-door cab that I had laying around. Obviously we've got to cut a hole in the hood for the scale V8 that we put in the C2X. It's got the scale V8, R4 Trans, it's got that Edelbrock intake and valve cover set on it looks fantastic so we want to expose that a little bit but i think it's going to look a lot more gnarly so the main issue i'm running into right now just on the setup i could move the rear bot of the front body post back I and mean, it's going to be easy i just got to take them off tap and drill a new hole on each side of the frame shouldn't be hard i've got my wonderful harbor freight spring loaded punch that has been making marking metal a whole lot better having it spring loaded don't have to hammer nothing pretty nice tool I highly recommend it for like four dollars at Harbor Freight <laughs> so but the rear body mount on the two-door cab puts it right in line with the chassis that hasn't there's no chassis the chassis comes back and then it drops down and goes around the the transmission plate so there's nothing there to mount the body post to so I've got some ideas nothing I haven't worked through anything yet um, I have to find some way, I could probably use this hole and the new hole and put a little metal piece across, maybe use some holes on the back where the other one is, and then have a piece of metal run across and put the body post exactly where we need it. And that would also move the body post out however thick our metal is, which would help with pulling the body on and off without screws. Well, we've got our M3 rods stuck in the body mounts anyway, so it makes body removal super easy. That's another thing I really like about this bed, is it has a toolbox. You put a screw in the lid, and that's your uh, battery storage. So you run your ESC wire through a hole in there, and boom. Battery in the back, never have to take the body off, except for maintenance. So, yeah. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, the body should be here in a few days, but we can get everything pretty well mocked up. And uh, another happy accident. So this bed is made to set up off of the frame. And there'd be like a look like a quarter inch gap, and then the frame for the bed itself. This is all steel. It's that CC hand bed. The frame for that is as wide as the chassis, and there's some holes in it. 
and it looks like my shock will have two or three mounting options to fit up there and right now it's sitting up a little bit in the back just because of the way I've got it balanced on here but um, I think we can fine tune that with the weight of the bed it's gonna squat so I think tuning the shocks we can get it to set dead nuts level and look a whole lot better so I guess I need to start with the body post we need to uh, get this thing apart and start drilling some holes All right guys, so the bed is mounted and I put the shocks where I was thinking about the shocks going and it sets up a little bit higher in the back. So right now I'm kind of stuck. I can't put the body down all the way because I haven't cut a hole for the engine yet. So I'm gonna wait for the cab to get here before we move on. We can get everything cut. I'm even thinking about uh, dovetail in the front and uh, I don't know. I've never done one before so it might be fun and it'll actually fit this build pretty well. It doesn't look like it has a lean on the camera, but it really does the back. It works out perfect right now. Under full lift, it does not touch. I mean, it's just right there at the bed. But I need it to set lower at right height. Um, right now the cab's, again, like I said, it's not on. We're sitting on top of the body mounts. I don't think my rear body mounts are going to work. I did. I made those out of just some scrap RC four-wheel drive little leaf spring hanger things from some bruiser stuff from a long time ago um, they are a little bit lower than the front so it's going to put our cab tilted back i don't want it to look like the truck's jackknifed in the middle um, so we're going to have to figure out some other way to do those body mounts the problem is it puts that pin pretty much almost just the hair below this plate so there's not really i mean that's probably as close as i can get to that plate so i don't know got some thinking to do on that Got some thinking to do on the suspension and some thinking to do on the body. So while we wait on the body, I'm going to wrap this one up here at part one. Um, you see in the back also, I took the uh, C2X rear bumper thing off because it does sit above the frame a little bit and it was keeping the bed from setting down level. So did that and I just stuck some uh, cross members in there. I used two mil spacers on either side of the bed between the bed and the frame and that keeps the bed centered on the chassis and then those are 75 millimeter rods uh, they're a little bit longer they're probably two mil wider than the chassis was but there's nothing else back there the bed you know the shocks mount and that's that's not a big deal so everything back there is jiving good mud flaps will probably have to go uh, they're rubbing on the tires already so that's unfortunate i thought that was kind of cool but i love the way this bed looks and i'm excited to add some more weight to this truck I, that's one thing it needed needed a little more weight so we're gonna have a full interior and we're gonna have a regular cab maybe dovetail the front and uh yeah we'll just see how it goes but i'm gonna wrap it up guys i appreciate y'all watching stay tuned for more to come keep it scale and i'll see y'all in the next video